Dude, so I'm a little, I'm a little off balance immediately <sighs> in this donation day episode. Yeah. You got a book on top of these things. Yeah. You, I don't know if you can see this. You got. Well, this is day one of Daniel week. Bunch of Daniel month. Oh, 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 oh no, oh, no, no, no! Oh, edit that. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> all right. So starting no, that out, was an accident. starting out this Daniel window. I was thinking Rex week. Already <laughs> illegitimate. <laughs> nope. So if you no. want, here's I'll meet you halfway. Hey, this is gonna take I'll 45 you, minutes if I'll you keep it. I'll meet you halfway. Your illegitimate month can be condensed down to a legitimate week. No. Nope. Do you want a legitimate week that I don't try and drive it off the rails? No. Okay. It's a month. A month of illegitimacy. It's a month. Here we go. So now the question is, we have six whiskeys, which is what we do on donation day. Yeah. And they're all donated whiskeys. Okay. The question is, the ability of a good psalm is not just to know things. Sure. It's to help other people get somewhere. Yes. Right? So the question is, can the descriptions that I took the time to write down help you pinpoint which whiskey is which? So are we testing me? No, no, no. This is technically a test of me. So... Because if you get it wrong, I've written my descriptions incorrectly. Already? The ability that I have to just totally screw you. Yeah, but you're fine. No, I'm not. I'm nothing. You'll be fine. I'm nothing close to fine. Okay. Are you ready? <laughs> yeah. No, I think you've progressed far enough in understanding base whiskey. But that's assuming I'm going into this with goodwill. Do we want to, uh, it is. Do we want to, uh, bastard everybody up front or at the end? Uh, it's your month, man. This your is, illegitimate, your Ill illegitimate yeah. month. What do you want to do? This is nerd heaven. Um, okay, so. Okay, let's start with Nika, which was, uh, many people have given us Nika by the barrel, but most recently Matthew Zittrick gave us one. What can I be doing up to this point? Hold the bottle of Nika. Well, there you go. All right. Matthew Zittrick. Matthew Zittrick. Matthew Zittrick. Matthew Zittrick. Oh, oh, oh. The illegitimacy <laughs> is throwing me off so much. You gotta understand. <laughs> yeah. This is... It's not painful. It's... It's a facade, really. You whine a lot. Everything happening in this month, it doesn't count. So, Matthew... <laughs> I put up with Coke and $5,000 whiskey glasses. I put up Matthew. with eggs being shot at me. No whining. Matthew Zittrick. <laughs> Matthew Zittrick. It's Matthew Zittrick? Yeah. Matthew Zittrick, you men... You got so Come on, Rex, you got this. Matthew Zittrick, you magnificent bastard. <laughs> All right, next was uh, Glen Going 21. Yeah. Which was a gift from Nathan Huey. Nathan now, Huey, you make No, no, no. Nathan is. Saint of Whiskey. Yeah. Oh, he might be oh. crawling into full metal here pretty soon. Oh. Ding, ding. There wasn't a ding for that. Ding. <laughs> That's the worst ding ever. <laughs> All right. Uh, followed by Brock Lottie. The Bear of Harley, a gift from Ben Stahl. Ben Stahl, you magnificent! Who's a patron saint of this? Man, you're really confusing today. You gotta, you gotta get it out. You gotta get it out, guys. Okay. And, and... Dings. Uh, Dings. You're Dings. bad at Dings. You're losing momentums on Dings. And then, of course, Adrian Bauer. Adrian Bauer! Magnificent. You bastard. magnificent bastard! And one more. Long morn, one more from Nathan Huey again, patron saint of whiskey. Nathan Huey, you patron saint of whiskey. <laughs> Someone figured out that it was like an F and an F sharp on the two glasses from our last episode. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay, so I'm going to describe these five whiskeys quickly and then I'll repeat anything you need to know as you go through. One of these is Nika by the barrel. Nika on the nose is sweet honey, oil, and viscous, dense, then spreading out into sugar, and then a light barrel spice. Uh, I'm sorry, that's a taste. I have them backwards. Noses, floral, new fruit, vanilla, slight malt, dust, and barrel vanillas. Uh, the next one is... Okay, so based on that description, you can narrow it down if you think you have an idea. Okay, well, well, well give, me, so, give me all the descriptions. Okay, yeah. so that's Nika. Mm -hmm. Next one is Brooklady Bear Barley. Uh, on the nose, dense sweetness, 
leading to a slight vegetation musty note, a very mulch, wet mulch-like. And then if you live with it for a little while, it turns into milk chocolate and malt. Okay. Okay, now there's several sherried whiskeys in here, so you might mix these up. Uh, Red Breast 21 uh -huh. is vanilla to the so vanilla that it turns into cream and custard. Right. And it ends up in pound cake, almond oil, and stewed apples. Mm -hmm. uh, Glen Goin, uh, dense almond, sherry, fruit cake, raisin, perfume, lavender, and at the very end, a little bit musty. Right. And then uh, Long Morn. Yeah. Uh, vegetation on the nose, immediately switching into sherry, but like a really light sherry. Uh, almond and dried nut mix, not dense dark fruit. Okay, so I got my nose guesses. Dial me in on the taste though. I'm gonna okay. confirm with the tasting notes. Okay, and then we'll come back and pick our favorites. So on the taste, start with the one you think is Nika. All right. Uh, on the taste, sweet honey, very oily and viscous. It gets dense and then as it spreads out it switches to sugar. And then at the very, very end a slight barrel spice that's mostly sweet. Okay. You doubling down on that one? Just keep going. Okay. Next, if you think you found Brooklotti, yeah. then the taste on this one is a light and delicate taste, which is surprising with the nose. It's a little bit medicinal and phenol in the middle, but then at the end it switches to fruit and cut grass. Okay. And then a lingering sweet malt. Uh, Red Breast 21 taste straight up stewed apple, honey, sherry, but like a really light sherry, like direction of phenol. Mm -hmm. A little bit rubbery for some reason. Right. And then ending in heavy oil cling and barrel spice. Yep. Yeah, you feel like you're on? Taste for Glen Goyne 21, nutty and malty right away. And then overwhelmed with dark fruit, raisin, fig, walnut, and cream. Okay. And then uh, Long Morn taste Vanilla at first, then switches to dark fruit, slight phenol, and then reaches into a light wood spice at the very end. So, I feel pretty confident about these four. I wasn't confident about this one, but because it's the only one left, mm -hmm. I'm going to say... You're going to say that's it. So we'll say how close I got. Alright, so I wrote them on the bottom of the glass. All right. This is Nika. No! Yeah. Bullsh**! What did you think was Nika? This one? Yes. That... That's the one I was uncertain about. Is Brooklotti. That's the long one. Yeah, this is Brook Lottie. Right. That's not, not Nika. Right. Yeah. This is Glen Goyne. You're <laughs> moving fast. This is Longmorn. Okay. And you put Glen Goyne. Right. I know I got, I know I got at least one right. <laughs> this is, <laughs> this is Longmorn. You put Brook Lottie. Wait, you know which one I got and right. And you found Red Breast. I found Red Breast. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, that's so good. <laughs> because. Uh, I love me some red breast. <laughs> I can pick red breast out of a hundred whiskeys. Okay, so the ones that I got, were these like totally or did I get two reversed? No, no, you just got only one right. No, no, but the ones that I got wrong, was it? It was all over the map. All over the map. All over the map. Okay. Okay, so you, we know red breast as soon as you pick it up. Right. You're like, yeah, there's there's my red breast cherry cask Irish whiskey. Right. Now, um, pick up, what do you have in your hand right now? Look at the bottom. Well, you, here's the thing. You numbered these incorrectly. I numbered them? My nosing and tasting. Oh. That was perfect. <laughs> your numbers. I just did my numbering. Your backwards. numbers. You went dyslexic on that. <laughs> this is Nika. Nika. Okay, so Nika, now, now that you know what you're looking for, right. see if it, it jives with you. In the nose of Nika, floral, new fruit, vanilla, slight malty, dusty note. Right. And a little bit of barrel vanilla. Which is, you know, slight woody note, but heavily coated in vanillas. So there is one that was almost like a vegetation. Yeah, yeah, that's not this one. That one's uh, Brooklotti. Brooklotti was... was like really musty, almost mulchy. See how that's sweeter and way it's more vanilla? sweeter, but there's also... No, there's a malt note. Like a sweeter vegetation. Right. Slight malt dust. Okay. Right, that's that dull, dusty malt note. Right. But this one gets more into wet, damp vegetation, but not peat. Right. There's no peat in that Brooklotti. Oh, I see that, yeah. Right? Okay, so then on the taste with Nika, you got Nika or you got Brooklotti in your hand? That's Brooklotti. You got Brooklotti. Mm -hmm. Okay, on the taste in Brooklotti, I pulled up uh, really floral and delicate at first, mm -hmm. like surprisingly so for a Brooklotti. Right. And then slight medicinal note in the middle and then ending in cut grass. And the vegetation sort of vanishes. That's there on the nose. It's not as, it's not as there. And then the aftertaste so is I'm, sweet malt. I land on the cut grass. I don't get the medicinal note. Uh, yeah, it's in, it's buried in there, mm -hmm. and it's way in the middle, and it's about two to three sips in after you've sort of lived with it for a little bit. Right. Uh, Nika, 
floral new fruit vanilla malt dust barrel vanilla at the end mm -hmm. on the nose on the taste sweet honey oily spreading into thin sugar and barrel spice it's the vanilla on the taste yeah vanilla oh, it's on just taste. so vanilla vanilla at every level creamy vanilla yeah it reminds me of the vanilla special edition woody vanilla one that they so gave the, us the barrel spice isn't it's not necessarily an oak flavor no no that's why i said it's it's barrel vanilla Okay. Right, which makes it see like a vanilla coated woody. Like, you know what it's like when you got to the end, and my teeth are hurting right now saying this out loud because I hate this feeling. The, um, when you get to the end of a popsicle on a wooden stick, and you start to taste the wooden popsicle stick a little bit right. through the sugar. Right. But it's not spicy, it's just woody behind pure sugar. All right. All right, and jumping to, oh, you have your red breast. Let's set that aside. We know you love that one. Um, let's go to Glen Going 21. This was my favorite exploration of the batch. Um, even beating out Longmorn for me for my favorite exploration. Glen Going on the nose, dense Oloroso sherry, almond, fruit cake, raisin, perfume, even lavender. So I said this one was Glen Going. Yeah, which is actually um, makes sense because that's said, Longmorn, which is also a sherry cask. Yeah, I was getting yeah. the sherry cask from the Longmorn. But look how much darker the sherry cask is on the Glen Goyne. So no, I'll, just on the nose, sm not color, no, no, smell. I, I get half points for that because the sherry cask. You found sherry. I found sherry. I was yes. looking for the sherry cask. You found sherry cask. I get triple points on that. <laughs> you can game the point system. That's fine. But see how much darker the, the sherry yeah, the, the is? The this is more almond. The that's sherry, more fig. The sherry influences this. Is substantial on both yeah. of these. Yeah, I agree. Now, Glen Goyne, it's 21 years only ever in sherry casks. Mm -hmm. Never in wood. Oh, we got brushwood showing up to interrupt a video shoot. Hey, we can put you through a test. Oh, a great. test to see if you do better than me. Yeah. Test. Yes. Okay. Okay, come on right, in. Right, Welcome. Right, we right. have a guest. Jason. This was actually hey, not Murphy. planned. Hello. I mean, I knew Jason. people were coming, but. Hi, How are you? Good. All good. right, what are we doing? So, 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 don't be nervous, I got one out of five. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> I'm gonna do better by random chance. <laughs> yeah. I, yeah. I'm gonna match it by, by putting this on all doing? of them. Quickly, we got Brian Brushwood and Jason Murphy from the Modern Room. Yeah, they were stopping by to shoot some stuff, if I remember correctly. Yeah, yeah. And uh, we were in the middle of a Friday episode. So how long do you have before you have to go to your thing? Uh, oh, we're waiting on the rest of the crew to shoot. Okay, so, this is so here you go. So here's you what I did. Uh, no, 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 I poured five whiskeys. Yep. I'm going to describe the nose to you, and I want you to see if you can assign it, and then I'm going to assign the tastes that I wrote down for these, Okay. and see if you want to make any corrections. Okay, so so I get the descriptions of each of these names, mm -hmm. uh, yeah. and uh, so, so uh, great. Okay, so Nika. Go. Yep. Nika by the barrel. Mm -hmm. This whiskey is, uh, for one, 54, 1.4% 1 alcohol. On the nose, floral and new fruit, heavy vanilla, slight malt dust. I am almost certainly wrong. Um, yeah, I, uh, two of these I felt good about. The other two, three are total guesses. There we go. That's 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 it. Okay, that's your one. Yeah. All right. So that's that's right. the Burglotti. Okay. So, oh, I was so close. Yeah, it's lighter than you would imagine, which would probably put this. At the Nika, it is. That's the Nika. You got the red breast! I got the red breast! Yeah! I got the red breast! Woo! Woo! Red breast, baby! <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, no, you got the long one. This is the Glen Goyne. Wait. Because there's a G layer. You got two. Oh. Two, 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 oh. two, 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 two. Well, episode's twice. over. Hey, thanks for hanging out with us in the whiskey vault. <laughs> <laughs> so there you go. All right, turn around. Turn around. Don't mix the whiskeys together. Oh. At least give me a fair shot at it. <laughs> that one. Right. You're wiping off his secret notes? I'm wiping off your notes on the bottom. All right. Oh, okay, that's fine. As long as you know what order they're in. And replacing one of them with Ecto Cooler. <laughs> <laughs> it's all four loco. Okay, so don't look over I'm here. I might be able to do it by color. Don't, all right. Don't look over here, because this is where the answers are. Yes, oh, okay. stay over there. Okay, yeah. I'll stay over here. Right there. Okay. So I'm going to say Burklotti right out of the gates. I'm gonna let you lock in all your answers, mm -hmm. and I'll let you know. I might lose on the, uh, ironically, I might lose on the red breast. <laughs> <laughs> okay. You keep it in the same order, yeah? I am. Okay. Red breast. Mm. I'm gonna say Glen Goyne and, uh, whatchamacallit, Longmorn. Okay, so okay. go through all of your answers. You red breast? Yes or no? Just go through all of your answers, what you think they are. And yeah, I did. Red breast? Yeah. I think Longmorn, these two I'm iffy on right now. Uh, Glen Goyne, 
Nika Brooklady. You got three out of the five. I wow. got these three, didn't I? Yeah. You, you mixed up Long Morn and Glen Glen. No, 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 Nika, no, really? Nika and Redbreast. Nika and Redbreast. I did? Nika yeah. here, Redbreast here. Oh, that led. That was why I was looking for a biscuit note when I checked this off in my head totally. Right. The, the, the level of precision needed to identify a red breast 21. <laughs> I I'm, I'm not going to paint with a, too broad of a brush. Well, but, it's even lighter, I even think, though it's I think Nico the, by the I barrel. think the people know. All right, which one? Which one? This is where taste? the skill went, right here. I liked the, uh, the red I liked breast. the red breast. Yeah. Oh, that's right. Which one was it, Brian? Yeah, I believe this one. Which one was it, Brian? That's fun. It won't always be like this, by the way. But donation days will probably be a lot like this. The other days, probably not. All right, All right here's to fighting, stealing, and drinking. You fight me a fight for a friend. If you steal me a steal a lover's heart. If you drink, may, may you drink, drink with us. us. Hey, thanks for hanging out with us in the Whiskey Vault. Don't forget to throw on a like, hit that subscribe button on the bottom right, and drop a question or comment down below.